All right guys, so today we are in Northport, Florida and I lived here for about two years. I wanna to talk to you guys about some of the pros and cons of living in this city. So before we jump into this video, my name is Samantha. I am a local realtor here in the state of Florida. And if you have questions about buying, selling or relocating to the state, definitely feel free to reach out to me. Uh, there is a link in my bio so you can go ahead and book a call with me. You can browse uh, my website and things like that. So um, let's jump in. All right guys, so when we think about some of the pros of living in this city, I think about first price point. So as everyone knows, price point in general is rising, uh, especially here in the state. We have a lot of interest, um, people from everywhere moving to the state of Florida for many different reasons. So Northport is one of those communities that you can still get in at a phenomenal price point. Um, there is a lot of growth potential like many of the other cities, especially on the Gulf Coast. They are booming. This is actually the I believe second fastest growing city in the US right now. So Northport is definitely on the map in terms of notoriety and growth. So just something to consider when you guys are thinking about equity. Where can I purchase a home for a decent price point and see that equity back as you know, you kind of ride that wave up, so to speak. So that's definitely a pro when I think about Northport. Now pro that I would talk about is housing aside from price point and growth potential there's a wide variety of the type of housing you can get so um as opposed to like where i am in parish or even a lakewood ranch where there's a lot of hoas there's a lot of um, master plan communities and a lot of people are drawn to that and love that but some people don't some people want to build on their own lot you know they want to have new construction on their own personal lot and they like a bigger lot so Northport's kind of great for that because you can buy a double lot and you can pick your contractor and build from scratch or purchase a home again that's already on a lot so there's a little bit more variety I feel here in Northport as opposed to some of the other growing cities that again have those master plan communities so that could definitely be a pro for some people depending on your lifestyle of course so another pro that i would say is the proximity to things so although we're not coastal in northport you are which for me would be a pro because i don't like being directly on the beach but you are only 20 minutes from anglewood beach and from you know you can go and see manasota key which is beautiful boca grande punta gorda so those are some things that um venice those are some things to think about in terms of being really close to things that you can have fun, still enjoy a coastal type living, but not with the price tag. So I would say that's definitely a pro. All right, guys, so we're driving back behind the Cedar Grove development, which is one of my favorite master plan communities. And they are also building uh, another community that's going to be attached called the Strand at Cedar Grove. And then there's, there's not a price point uh, out for those homes just yet, but you're going to see over on the left hand side, they're going to be building or they've already broken ground on Arbor Oaks, which is by Pult Homes. And those homes start about 355000 They're in pre-sale phase right now. Uh, and there are also some pre-existing communities back here. You have the Dell Webb, which is a 55 and over active adult community. And you also have Lakeside Plantation, which is fully built for uh, quite some time now. So as we pull into Cedar Grove, you're going to see the pre-existing uh, side, the com fully completed phase. And they're going to have their own amenity center. And then um, the new side is going to have another amenity center. Now, residents are entitled to both uh, sides here. So this is, again, the phase that has already been built for quite some time now what i want to mention about um cedar grove and the new community the strand is that they are a centex builder and they are giving a 5.5 interest rate right now with a couple other incentives as well um, and they're also giving a two thousand dollar rebate to hometown heroes 
which is great. And then obviously you can also take advantage of my program, which will give you an additional rebate as well. to living in Northport is the job opportunities. So we have a Sarasota Memorial fully functioning hospital campus um, right on Toledo Blade. And that also has a John Hopkins All Children's Center. And we also have the brand new Fawcett Hospital over on 41. So that's gonna definitely serve uh, for job opportunities to our medical professionals. And then we also have our local fire departments and we have Northport Police Department that has opportunities available for you right now. So um, there's so much in terms of being able to get a job. Um, there are some teaching opportunities. So the possibilities are pretty much endless. Um, the infrastructure is growing and there's definitely gonna be a need for these professions. Let's talk about some of the cons of living here. So when you talk about growth there are some drawbacks when you think about that so aside from just the normal construction and roads needing, needing to be widened and things like that which are obviously very inconvenient at times the other things are things like shopping now northport does have a nice shopping center you have um, coco plum which has a great deal of stores and things like that but all in all, you will have to venture out over to Port Charlotte to get Target and, um, you know, as far as a major mall goes, you would probably want to go down to UTC in Sarasota um, to go ahead and access a bigger general shopping mall. There is a shopping mall in Port Charlotte, but again, not as big or significant of a mall. So definitely still growing in a lot of regards so that can be a little bit of a drawback for people who are maybe used to a more metro area and having those things already on site now another another con i would say and this is um a pretty significant one is you need to be careful and be thinking about location within northport itself so I was here for Hurricane Ian. I lived through Hurricane Ian here in Northport. I decided to just shelter in place and it was a significant storm. So where I was in Northport, everything actually ended up being okay aside from some broken trees and some wind damage, but there were parts of Northport that were absolutely devastated by floodwaters. We do have the Mayaka River and there are arteries that run throughout the city that you know went ahead and did some again significant flood damage so when you're looking into northport it's important to understand um where you're going to be now again <clears throat> i don't believe northport ever saw a storm like ian and, and county officials are working on the infrastructure of you know certain water systems and res reservoirs and bridges and things like that to be reinforced so that way they are more prepared for a large-scale storm like Ian but again I don't think anyone is fully prepared for uh, what Ian brought to us now that being said there was a specific area of Northport that really didn't see too much damage aside from folks who had some older roofs and things like that obviously and that was Cedar Grove now <laughs> Cedar Grove is one of my favorite communities in Northport. I actually almost bought a house in Cedar Grove, but unfortunately my husband's employment moved us an hour north, so we weren't able to purchase that home, but I love it. It's an amazing community. Um, you have the middle school right across the street. There are some other great options for schools in the area as well. And all in all, that's just a great section. I love that section of Northport. There is um, a couple other communities that are sprouting up over there as well. That's pretty much it in terms of cons for me. I mean, other than that, I really see Northport as a 
great opportunity. I think it's a good fit for family. I think it's a good fit for retirement. I think it's a good fit for people from all walks of life. So if you guys have any questions surrounding Northport in general, relocating, definitely feel free to reach out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I brought you some value. And if you did, please like and subscribe so I can keep bringing you guys these videos. And again, the link is in my bio for you guys to reach out. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.